Hello, I'm Giselle, and this is Seismic Weather. And today we are on the line with Randall Fever. Randall, how's it looking out there? Apparently, there's a pretty nice uh, little storm system headed our way. Apparently, this system coming through is carrying uh, tornadoes. That's a report from Georgia. Okay, great. Thanks, Randall. Let's go to our callers. <laughs> Rand Randall, Randall, um, if you see a tornado coming, go down, down somewhere. It's probably the, the best thing, not out shooting. There's been no tornadoes here, no storms, no nothing. Just a teacup. Don't get hurt. You want to see uh, you flying around like in the Wizard of Oz kind of thing. If you're mad enough to attempt it, it would be fun, but I don't like the idea that you'll be going, and it's getting a bit extreme here, and, and, that, and then we'll be panicked for like hours. If you do end up seeing a tornado, because I want to see it. I mean, I, wanna, I really want to see it. So if you could ask the tornado nicely to stand very still um, so it won't be pixelated. Just go to any trailer park because tornadoes for some reason seem to be magnets for those things. They're crazy. Well, I'm not going to go driving looking for one because that's just crazy. But if one comes this way, I'm going to be ready. Now, Randall, this is slightly dangerous reporting. Are you prepared to go out there in those conditions? Ready? I've got a hat, a wooden shoes. They don't conduct electricity. Ah! I've got this big cross. Just keep it right here, just in case. This plastic bag. Now we're going to go out into the, into the back. How are things outside? So far, it's really just a lot of rain, a little lightning, a little thunder. And it looks like it's still maybe uh, the red zone is another maybe 10 or 15 minutes away. But a lot of times, they pop up on the edge of the red zone. All right, thanks, Randall. We're going to go over to Kazo in London to hear his perspective on the weather in Georgia. Hello, yes, it's Kazo here. I hope you can hear me. I'm not more than 5,000 miles away from the center of the red zone. The tornado is coming in closer. Um, we hope uh, we, you're all okay there in, uh, in, in Atlanta. And um, I believe we can now go back to Randall reporting from the center of the red zone. Hey Randall, listen, yeah, why don't you grab your mic? I'm having a hard time hearing you. Oh, oh. Yes, hello, uh, this is Randall reporting uh, live from the uh, center of the action, almost the action is on its way here. As you can see behind me, the weather has died down a little bit, which can only mean trouble. It's the calm before the storm, and we will get back to you as soon as we can. What we know now is several people are bunkered up. If you can, I know you can't quite see over here, but they are all in shelter. Everyone's underground, they've dug holes, they've dug deep, deep holes. They're underneath trees. We're looking for shelter, we're looking for storm, but most of all, we're looking for action. And now back to you. Hey, let's jump over to Chris in Cape Cod to see what he thinks about the weather. This just in. Yes, a local area man was indeed picked up and taken away by a tornado today. He was apparently holding uh, what appeared to be a book of some kind, a white book of some kind. Uh, it was a Macintosh, an Apple laptop. Yes, and he was quoted as saying, <clears throat> expletive deleted, I'm frozen. Damn, I can't hit save until I'm unfrozen. We'll have more news as it comes in. Randall, Randall, you there? Is everything okay? Hello, hey, okay, great. Well, it looks like the man with the Mac was not Randall. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, this is Randall reporting live from the Storm Center. I would like to say that it looks like the storm is dying down. It's proven to be, again, a rather anticlimactic storm. It's a little pissy, but we are going to go live to someone on the telephones, driving in the street in the middle of the action, and your name is, please. Miss Fever. Fever, can you tell us what the people are doing? Can you tell us what you see, please? It's pandemonium out here, Randall. It's pandemonium. People are driving. There's water. Randall, there's water everywhere. Can you hear that? Water everywhere. Okay. We can barely hear you. Is everything okay? Are you safe? Do you see any green skies? Do you hear anything resembling a freight train? Is there anywhere you could guide us to the action? I think I hear a train now. No. It's turning green. No, no, it's not turning green. Sorry, pandemonium. I got a pandemonium on the street. Pandemonium on the streets, ladies and gentlemen. You just heard it here first. We're going to keep back with the weather and see. One thing that we do know is that everyone is safe so far, and the neighbors are looking at me quite peculiarly as I post from the action live. And now to you. Randall, do you have any final words on the weather out there?
Uh, apparently it's over. Um, it's just, uh, we might still get a tornado, but, you know. We'll let you know if we do. We're not going to get but shit. Back to you. All right, great. Thanks, Randall. Looks like that's it for today's weather report. Thank you for watching Seismic Weather. Randall, I just wanted to say that was one of the most exciting things I've ever seen in my whole life. And um, I know the storm didn't happen, but it was still so exciting. Please do it next time there's a storm sitting out on that porch waiting for the storm. That was a real, real drama. I loved it. Nice one. Thank you.